Hey guys, welcome back to the MGH United Road to Glory. We're back into Champions League action. We've got Osasuna away from home. Maybe one of the tougher fixtures. They've got an insane squad. Last time we played against them, we conceded four goals to one player, Fafana, and he was absolutely ridiculously good. Then we go to St. James's Park to take on Newcastle and then it's Manchester United at home. Looking into December as well, we've got so many games. A lot of them aren't too crazy. Uh, maybe we'll get a chunk of them done in this episode as well. But as I said, we are travelling to the Estadio Al El Sadar. I don't know how to pronounce that. It sounds about right. Um, yeah, Osasuna have seemingly a very good squad, so... It might not be an easy game, although if you did this in season one of a career mode, let's say I'm a Premier, a top Premier League side up against Osasuna, you'd be thinking, ah, easy. But no, Fofana up front, Otavio's in there, Suchek, Nonto. I mean, it's, it's actually a very good team. I am going to go ahead and put Carrasco in. I've been enjoying him way too much. And of course, Burger Boy is coming in for Thomas as well. Now, this is a cool stadium. It is an official stadium in the game. I'm pretty sure they've got all La Liga stadiums now, right? Yeah, this is a, a very cool looking stadium. I could have used this. No, I like the one I chose, but I've still got that stupid bug with the banners. I can't seem to fix it. I just don't have any banners in the stadium, but I guess it's it's not insanely important that I have banners. I've got, I've got my support from the crowd enough, okay? Right, I need to focus. Fofana, do not let him in behind because... He'll score another four goals. We've got some space to work with here. Perez over to Carrasco. Well intercepted, but it's straight here to Gusto, who gets the cross in for Thomas. It's 1-0. We've done it within 10 minutes. We've broken the deadlock. I'm not losing this game, and I'm keeping a clean sheet. Okay, you heard it here first. Fafana, none of them are scoring against me tonight. You're not tackling him. I'm sorry, but you're just not. Carrasco is untackleable, and Perez, oh... So nearly made it 2-0. Is untacklable a word? <laughs> Definitely not. I don't think you can be untacklable. You can be difficult to tackle. Maybe we should have said that. My English is just perfect. 10 out of 10. Tell you what though, Osasuna are sitting very deep. It is going to give me a lot of opportunities to pass it through their midfield. I'm just going to go over to the left side here to Hunter. Early cross. Oh, hello. Oh, win the header. Thomas, no way! I've hit it straight at the goalkeeper. If I hit it the other side, that goes in. Here is Chavi Simmons. I don't really want to cross it again. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Way too easy. And that is going to be a yellow card for Suchek. You're kidding me, right? Oh, thought I was going to concede there. I had it. I, I literally had the ball. I just couldn't control it, it seemed. And now we do have a corner to defend. Should be fine with Hunter there. What a header. Oh, my God. No, Carrasco. Yes. No. Get up. Oh, you're kidding me. Literally, again, just so unlucky there. Is it going to be another chance? Is that not a foul? Oh, my God. I've just kicked him. The referee doesn't care. We've got one minute of added time here. Try and make this count. Come on. That's fine. I'll win this with Berger. Okay. No, I won't. But that is half time. Yeah, I mean, we're dominating, but I wish we... Kind of had a two or three goal lead by now. How about that for a pass? And then a chip, please. Yes, what a goal. That was absolutely, well, style. That's what that was. Football beauty. The pass in behind, the chip. Oh, you're just, it's an embarrassment, really. You should not be conceding such an easy goal. Two nil, so early in the second half as well. Here we go again. Oh, it's Burger Boy. I'm going to hit it with a power shot. No, it took too long to hit it. Oh, it's all right. Kone's there. Give it back to Burger Boy. Outside of the boot. Go on. Oh, it's three. And it is Burger Boy. <laughs> what a goal. His left foot is just... I mean, it's, it's very good. Is that better than the second goal? I don't know. I think I preferred the second goal a little bit more. But this is just... It's not really fair, is it? Look at the curve he gets on that. Oh, Roberto Carlos would be proud. Great finish from Kai Berger. We will make some changes now and jump to result because it is 3-0. Gordon, Schroeder can play right back. Thomas, uh, Kureshi, and let's go with Gunther. 
Let's get these players on so they get some minutes under their belts. And, by the way, clean sheet right now. So, are we going to keep a clean sheet? No! For Fauna! I can't believe it. Berger scored again. We had 12 shots. 69% of the ball. <laughs> Grow up. I'm pretty sure, though, with that win... I think we're guaranteed to be going through. I don't know if it guarantees first place. Let's have a look. So we are in Group F. So yeah, it is done. We are we are winners of the group, guaranteed. 17 goals scored, nine conceded. Nine goals in five games. That's not great, is it? But no losses, just that one draw against Atalanta. But um, Osasuna, funnily enough, looks like they might be going out in last place. But there is, of course, still one more match day. They can still get through in second. But now we're going to mid-table Newcastle. They are sitting in 11th. This is a big game for us. If we can keep winning in all competitions, then that is what we want to do. Tommy Yasu at right back. They've got St. Maximin on the left. They've got Malassia. Simakins in there. We looked at potentially signing him. Ward Prowse, Longstaff. I mean, it's a good side, but I can see why they're not really fighting for top four, top five, top six. Right, let's change up the team a little bit. I'm going to start Gordon. I do want to get Berger in again. Just really enjoying using him. Let's go with Kureshi in the middle. And let's go with... Should I give Lewis Hall a go? Yeah, why not? Let's have Lewis Hall in central midfield with Berger. I'm going to swap sides, though. We need to get Berger's skill moves and weak foot up, though. I keep forgetting to do that. I mean, resting Kone, I don't really need to do that, but I'm going to, just to swap up the team a little bit. We're in already here. Go on, Thomas. Ooh, Simakin did very well. I think we would have got a shot on target there. Here's Hunter. This could be a great start. Oh, and then I do that. Here is Berger. Putting it over the top for Lewis Hall. His partner in midfield today, but it hasn't worked. He's won the header back, though. Xavi Simmons, what a touch that is. In now for Thomas. First time strike. Not bad, not bad. Here come Newcastle now. St. Maximin with the shot. Oh, did Holloway get a touch on that? No, he didn't. That would have been an incredible save, but thankfully it has just gone wide. And we're going to build up from the back here. Lewis Hall into Kureshi. I'm going to go over on this right side to Gusto. This is nice. Into Thomas. Let's try and get a shot away here, maybe. Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. Why did I do that? I didn't need to pass it. I didn't. I just didn't feel confident shooting on his left foot there. That might work. Yeah, I've got that. Yes. Thomas, through the gap. Can he finish? Of course he can. It's Thomas. As if he was going to miss. Although, actually, no. He has been missing some pretty big chances every now and again. He's not perfect, but that was perfect. What a strike. 1-0. Oh my god, what a tackle. And we're in again. Kureshi can make it two here. Top left corner. No! How have I missed that? And why did I go top left corner? I should have gone far post. Branthwaite's got it back though, has he? No. I tell you what, Newcastle do look very fragile at the back. But they are good going forward as well. Here is Gonzalez. Branthwaite. So good. Oh, he's kept it in as well. He's so good. Oh, Thomas. That was naughty. Oh, and a great finish from Gordon. How is Simakin being shrugged off the ball like that? He is a tank of a defender, and he's just literally nicked the ball from him so easily. I, I, I don't know. But Gordon with a bit of a difficult angle. 0 0.04 expected goal. No, it wasn't that crazy difficult of a chance. But anyway, we're 2-0 up. Still keeping that clean sheet. I don't keep many clean sheets. Technically, we kept one in the last game, but didn't because when we jumped to result, we conceded. But I'm wondering, oh my God, we could have it again here. It could happen again. Thomas is in. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, that's a shame. Right, I'm going to make some changes now as well. Kureshi's been good, but I'm going to take him off and bring in Perez. Let's bring in Schroeder. Uh, let's have Gunther at left back. I like subbing him on and Sanko as well. What a delivery. Oh, oh. Sanko with his first touch with a beautiful corner almost resulted in a goal now here's Perez cross coming in oh what is going on with this Newcastle defense I have no idea it's Simakin I think we dodged a bullet not signing him he's been absolutely woeful in this game 
just again, that time out of position. Poor defending. And we're in again here, potentially. Oh, then he gets a vital block in, of course. What a cross. Oh, oh, come off it. <laughs> Newcastle are so lucky. They really are. We could be... I mean, we've, we've scored six goals, pretty much. That's what it feels like. Been so close. We're in again. Thomas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somehow, it is still only 2-0. Even though we are destroying Newcastle. We are going into injury time now. Oh, no. The clean sheet. Oh, he's offside. I was going to say that was close. Let's have a look. How close was it? <gasps> Ooh, do you know what? I've got lucky there. Imagine not getting a clean sheet after all of this. We've been so good in this game. We could still get another one here. I mean, Gordon's just so quick. Look at that. Cross coming in now for Thomas. There it is. 3-0, guys. Last kick of the game, and it's another one for Thomas. He has had enough chances to score 17, it feels like, in this game. But it is a 3-0 win and a clean sheet. Oh, it's a miracle. It is the really tough game up next, though. Manchester United, who were leading the way at the start of this season, they were looking so imperious. But now they're in third place. We are four points clear of them. Let's try and make it seven, shall we? Let's have a look at their team. Why are they so, so, so good? I mean, yeah, there's a couple of players in there. I mean, I'm sure Anthony is close to kind of 90 rated. Same with Sancho. Marquinhos is probably still in his 90s, high 80s. Kepa in goal is a, is a weird one. Ibanez in defence. But there's a few names there. Galbraith, who could that be? I don't know. Should I change up the team? I think Carrasco comes back in. And Berger again. Uh, no, I'm going to use Thomas for this one. A bit more of a physical and pacey midfielder alongside Kone. And to be fair, it seems like Thomas is lacking a little bit of morale. He's usually very happy. Everyone else is. Most players are very happy, but he's just uh, content at the moment. So let's give him some game time. After the last performance from Sam Thomas, he is now top scorer in the league with 12 goals. He's lacking behind, though, from last season. I think by this point, he probably had 15 or more. So we can still obviously change that. 12 is still a lot of goals by, you know, November. Oh, what have I just done? Just passed it straight to them. But um, yeah, we've definitely been sharing the goals a lot more this season with Carrasco, Gordon. Perez has been scoring quite a few. Speaking of Perez, here he is, driving forward. Oh, okay, a little bit of a heavy touch, but we've got it back. Could be in. Oh, really? That last pass, if only I got that right. Kone on the ball. Over here to Perez. I see you, Carrasco. He's onside. Can he finish it? Of course he can. And we have taken the lead after 19 minutes. This could be a very important goal. If I extend my lead against Manchester United in the league table, we could be seeing them out of the picture pretty soon. I want it to be a two-horse race. If possible, I want it to be a one-horse race where it's just us in the lead, so the pressure is off. I want to win the league this season, and a win here could really, really help us. And that was nine goals in ten games for Carrasco. I mean, what a season he's having. As if he's just won that header as well. Carrasco, mate, you're just a cheat code. And look at Thomas here. Just so quick into Carrasco. I'm going to shoot. Go on. Oh, I think that might have been creeping in. He's just unbelievable, isn't he? And now the corner comes in. It was Carrasco again. Comes out to Thomas. I don't want to shoot with his right foot. Out to Tamori. I'm just going to hit that. Go on. Oh, my God. Fikayo Tamori has just scored an absolute screamer. Manchester United, shell-shocked. They don't know what's going on. Did it take a deflection, though? I'm hoping it didn't. 112 kilometers an hour. It did not take a deflection. It is a clean strike. Unless Kepa got a fingertip to it. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to check now. Did he get a fingertip to this? What a strike, by the way, from a defender. We have to check his stats. Just absolutely laces it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the movement of the ball here. Left, right, left. And then a slight touch from Kepa. That is a joke. Let's let's check his stats. How good is Tamori at long shots? 
Look at his stats. Absolutely crazy. 50. 50 long shots. Shot power, 61. It just goes to show if you hold LB and RB and do a power shot, it doesn't matter what their stats are. If it's on target, it's got a strong likelihood of going in. And we've intercepted it. This, this could be the quickest 3-0 we've had in a while. There's no way, right? Oh, no. Definitely not with a pass like that. I just need to be careful not to get carried away here because United could easily get one back. Not with a pass like that, they won't. Go on, let's break. Chavi Simmons in behind. I will get ahead of myself if we score here. Look at the pace. The difference. Just keep going. Finish it. Oh, my God. What can I say, guys? What can I say other than this team is, is ready? Look at the stats of the team. Look at the ratings. This isn't even my strongest team as well when you could put... Gordon in there, who's 87 rated or something like that. And we're just absolutely burying teams at the moment. We're 3-0 up, I just realised. That's it, we have to jump to result now. Against Manchester United. I don't know what to say, guys. Do I not? Do I just keep playing here? I mean, it could be 4, 5, 6. Like, we're absolutely demoralising them. I'm going to stick with my rule. 3-0 up, could they get one back? They probably will. No, they didn't. We made it 4-0 before halftime. If that doesn't show you that this team is ready to win the league, I don't know what else will. I don't think we're, we're, we're going to be enough to win the Champions League. Maybe. Who knows? But this team has just suddenly exploded this season. It feels like I'm just rolling teams so easily. And this is with the sliders to make it harder for me as well. Let's make it interesting, okay? I'm going to leave it to my assistant manager... A lot of people won't like this, and I get it, but I feel like the series kind of needs it. We're in Season 7 now. I don't need to play every single game that you're seeing here. So what I'm going to do, where are Arsenal in the league? Let's just double check. Arsenal aren't even in the top five. Okay. I feel like, just to kind of test the team, let's sim a month. Shall I do it? We'll go halfway and then another half. Okay, so we'll sim to after the trip to the Emirates. So we've got Aston Villa up next. It's a 2-1 win. We're already through in the Champions League. 2-1 win. 2-1 win. 1-0 win. Okay, then. It is just W after W. I mean, we lost to Liverpool, yep. Yeah, but win, 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 win. Just a draw as well thrown in there. Okay, any serious injuries to worry about? Nope. We got some money from the Champions League. Obviously, we were already through. Um, looks unlikely that we're going to meet a target. Okay, well, as long as you're still happy with me. I mean, we're 10 points clear after 17 games. Yeah, I think my team is good enough to do this, guys. First of the next month, 1-0 win, 2-1 win, 2-0 win, 3-0 win. Please tell me I've smashed Villa as well. 1-0 win. <laughs> um, well, I said I'd like to get a chunk of December done, and we've, we've done that. We got manager of the month. Okay. Transfer market is now open, of course. Omibamadeli has reached his full potential this season. 87 rated. Lovely. He's not even my main centre-back anymore. And another target that it looks like we're not hitting. But honestly, will the club care? I mean, probably not, right? So, Thomas is 90. Perez, 87. Gordon, 87. Simmons, 89. Thomas, 85. Kone, 89. I mean, look at the defence as well. 87, 88, 91, 87. 86 goalkeeper. If you put that team into a real-life Premier League team, they would win the title. I mean, it's a ridiculously strong squad. I'd say, it, on average, it's higher rated than Man City. I, I, I don't know what to say, guys. I know some people are going to be disappointed that I've just been able to do it so easily. But, I mean, <laughs> the team is just so strong. It really is so, so strong. We've got players like Lewis Hall on the reserves. Okay. Well, we are in the transfer window now. We've got 76 million to spend. And of course, I have a few players that I have my eye on. It doesn't look like they've grown too much. Um, I mean, yeah, not, not much has changed. Kamara is still probably the most likely option for us. You know, I still want to get another striker. 176 million for Gomez is such a, oh, it's such a good price. I, he's, he's worth that. Oh, it's so tempting. It really is. I just don't know how I'm going to be able to afford any of these players. But we're not going to go for Haaland. It was just fascinating to me that <laughs> City have Haaland and Kowalczyk. Ko Ko Kowalczyk. 
How are you? How are you allowed to have both of those players? And how are they not top of the league? It's ridiculous, isn't it? But we're not going to go for Haaland. So that leaves four players here. I don't think I'm going to sign Kovalevic just just purely because the other players are better. I think he's 25. He's on 350 grand a week as well. Pfft. Yeah, that's a no. So we're down to three strikers slash centre forwards. It does seem like Gomez is more more of a creative player. I think he's Dybala's regen. He's not Messi's regen, is he? I think he might be Dybala's. But imagine him and Thomas. Thomas slightly further ahead. Gomez in behind. Oh my God, that would be so good. It seems like Claire is maybe more of an out-and-out striker. Hmm. Maybe not. But Kamara which we found out was Sadio Mane's regen, is definitely an out-and-out, out, more of a, a striker. I'd, I don't know what to do here. We did get a deal halfway there, didn't we, with Gomez, and then I just didn't have enough money in the end. It was Lewis Hall, was it not? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it again because this is what would really excite me, to have a player like him with Thomas. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> that would be good. So we're going to try Lewis Hall. Kai Berger is worth 41 million now. We got him for free. Do you know how ridiculous that is? Okay, Lewis Hall plus... We'll, we'll try 60. It's not going to be enough, but we'll, we'll try. And they want 208 million. Hmm. <laughs> um, would you like anyone else? I don't have a striker or a winger that I want to offer you. Thing is, right... I've barely used Gordon recently because Carrasco has been so much better. He's seven years younger as well, but I can't get rid of Gordon. He's been so good. And I don't think anyone else is going to be worth enough. Oh, I don't know if we can do it. Unless I offer maybe Thomas. I like Thomas, though. I don't want to lose Kureshi. I don't want to lose Schroeder. Okay, the way I see it is Lewis Hall... Kai Berger and Loic Thomas, they're all left-footed central midfielders. It could be worth offering Loic Thomas and just keep Berger in the side. Oh, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it anyway. I don't think I've got enough. We will end negotiations unless I get a huge offer come in for a player that I'm not interested in keeping. Then I guess we're just not going to be able to get this done. I don't want to go for Kamara. I, I want Gomez. Because he is broken. Look at those stats. The fact that Kai Berger is already 83 rated is pretty incredible. That reminds me, actually, we do need to adjust his development plan. So let's go ahead and do that now. Development plan. Let's do something to improve his weak foot first. So it has to be a playmaker drill. And then after that, we will do skill moves. So we'll do central midfield. That's going to improve his physicality. To be fair, he doesn't need a playmaker one. He, <laughs> he, do, he really doesn't. Is there another way to do this? I think converting him to Cam will do skill moves. Yeah, I don't really need to do that either. I mean, doing right winger does both his skill moves and weak foot. But I don't really I, I don't need to worry about things like crossing agility. He's already pretty good with those things. It's more his defending and physicality I'd like to improve. So we'll stick with Playmaker. It's going to do his stamina. And then after that, we will do Central Midfield, which is going to do his strength. And then maybe we'll do something defensive-minded. But yeah, we'll stick with that for now. Let's get his weak foot up to kind of three, four stars. But uh, that is going to be it for this episode, guys. We got a whole month done, and I cannot believe how easy that was. Going into this new month, January 2029, a brand new year, we've got a bunch of cup games. We've got Man City twice in cup games. We've got Villa in the cup and we've got a trip to Tottenham, Watford at home, Chelsea at home, where I'm sure Claire is going to destroy me again. But as of right now, guys, I think we are in probably the most impossibly difficult to beat form that we've been in. We just seem unstoppable at the moment.